So today's time to eat the bait is going to be a canned oyster review. I got three different ones. I got some bumblebees from China, hot and spicy. I got some crown prints from South Korea with red chili peppers. And I got some regular crown prints smoked in olive oil just for a comparison for a taste test. I've got some crackers to eat them with and I've got some water. So let's get all three of these tins opened and, and see what the deal is. So we have the bumblebee. Ooh, lots of red pepper in this one. Trying to go slow so I don't make a big mess. We got the crown prints. I actually have five tins of oysters, but there's no way I can eat five tins in one setting. So these look a little different. They've just got hot chilies in there, not uh, not actually a hot sauce like the bumblebee. And then we got our regular crown prints smoked in olive oil. There's some pretty oysters. All three tins have some pretty oysters. So we'll start off with the bumblebee and hot sauce. Looks like a lot of oysters in the tin. Good oyster flavor. Not as hot as the amount of red pepper indicated though, just from the visual of the tin. Real good oyster flavor. Take a sip of water in between the different brands. Now these are the crown prints with red chili pepper. Bigger oyster. Feels about like the same texture. Not really picking up any heat at all with that one. And we'll try it. Well, the heat comes in later, starting to pick up a little bit of a, like an afterburn kind of heat. I would say that both the Bumblebee and the Crown Prince, I would give them like a mild rating. Then we got the smoked oysters and olive oil from South Korea, Crown Prince. These are a lot bigger oysters. I'm gonna try another one of these because right at the offset, these seem to be a little more mushier than the ones in hot sauce, but they do have a really good oyster flavor. Oh, those are good. A couple more of the bumblebee Chinese oysters. Chinese oysters are kind of scary because you don't know where they were grown, what the environment was, but then again, any imported seafoods like that. Like I was saying earlier, I, I would call those mild. Let's see what we get with the crown prints. Once again, mild, mild flavor. You get a later heat to it. You don't get the immediate hot sauce style heat you get with the bumblebee. This one's like a later heat that comes on as you eat the oyster. 
Both are really good though. I live in one of the main oyster producing areas in the state of Louisiana, Plaquemines Parish, but there are no local canners here anymore. There used to be a bunch back at the turn of the century, but everything's fresh and live. And it, you can't really even compare these to a fresh shucked oyster, but it is a good oyster product to eat when you don't have any available fresh ones. The just smoked in olive oil has the best actual oyster flavor. Real nice size oysters too. But at the same token, I really like the Chinese and hot sauce. And I also really like the red pepper ones. Totally different type of heat aspect to the seasoning but they're both really good. Three tins is a lot of oysters to eat. I actually have five tins of oysters, but I figured I could only do three in one sitting. Wow. Look at the size of this oyster and the crown print smoked in olive oil. That would have been a huge oyster before it was smoked and reduced from cooking. I'm trying to decide how to rate these comparison to each other. It's like trying to compare apples and oranges though. Everything is a little bit different. These are a hot sauce in the tin. And these are a hot pepper infused oil in the tin. Totally different flavor profile. Both are excellent in my opinion. And then we got the Crown Prince, just smoked hand packed in olive oil. These have the best actual oil flavor because they're not being masked by hot sauce. So to wrap it up, I'll give all three of them an A-plus rating. I can't say one's better than the other because they're totally different. A hot sauce, a, a hot infused oil from a red chili pepper, and just hand-packed smoked in olive oil. All three are excellent. I really enjoyed them. So till the next video, get you some tin seafood and eat it for a snack.